In the last episode of Definition Shots, we have learned about what is GitOps and how to install Red Hat OpenShift GitOps on an OpenShift cluster. It's now the time to do some hands-on. Hi guys, my name is Karan Singh, Senior Principal Architect and Developer Evangelist at Red Hat. And in this episode of Definition Shots, we will practically learn about GitOps by deploying an application on OpenShift cluster using Argo CD. Let's get started. We will be using this GitHub repository to deploy the Bubble animation application. This repository contains the manifest files that define the Kubernetes resources needed by the application. If I go into Bubble animation directory and under application manifest, we will see there are all the YAML files needed to deploy this application, which are namespaces, deployment, route and service. To deploy this application using Argo CD, we need to create Argo CD application resource. The application kind in Argo CD is a managed collection of manifests. It broadly has four parts. Let us now see that. Let's go into bubble animation directory once again and click on Argo CD application YAML. As I mentioned before, Argo CD application kind has four parts. Destination, project, source and sync policy. Destination is a section where we define the destination cluster on which the applications would be deployed. Project in line number 10 is an Argo CD project. It is not an OpenShift or Kubernetes namespace. Source section defines the place of the GitHub or the Git repository that Argo CD should pick up and deploy and apply the YAML files through the path and using the right branch. Sync policies defines the way Argo CD should automate the process of pruning and self-healing is if required. In this demo application, sync policy is set to be automated. It will automatically prune resources that have been removed from the Git repository. But it will not automatically correct resources that deviate from the definition stored in the repo. That is, manual changes to the application will not be healed. To deploy our bubble application, log into OCCLI by navigating to OpenShift Web Console, clicking onto the user, copy login command, and display token. Run this command on the CLI. Next, we will run Argo CD application. By running the command OC apply minus F Argo application.yml. Let's now navigate to Argo CD web console. Here we will see a new tile has appeared for our bubble animation app and the current status is healthy and synced. Argo CD has picked up the code from the Git repository and has applied all the ML files in order to make sure the application is running. Let's now go to developer view and in here select bubble animation project. And you will see one container is up and running. If you click on open URL, we will see the application is up and running. And we can see blue colored animated bubbles. Let us now quickly recap all the resources that Argo CD has created. Click on the bubble animation app under Argo CD. Here we will see Argo CD has created the networking, the route, the deployment, the service, and all the necessary resources required for this application to be functioning. Let's introduce a change in the application environment. That is, patching the live deployment manifest to change the color of bubble in the application from blue to green. And we will do this manually using OC command. Let's go back to the shell and run this command OC set environment and change the parameter from color from blue to green. And let's wait for application pod to be ready. And as once the rollout is completed, we can see the colors of the bubble has been changed from blue to green. However, if we go back to our Argo CD, 
we will see the application is out of sync. Argo CD has detected that the, the definition of the cluster application and the one defined in the Git repository has been drifted. In order to synchronize this, we need to click on sync and click synchronize button and Argo CD will make sure that all the changes are done and the application status is back to the original desired state as defined in the Git repository. Let's go back to the application and hit refresh. And we will see the bubbles are again into the blue color. And if you go back to Argo CD, the current state is healthy and synced. This is all I have to show you in this episode of Damnation Shots. For more details on GitOps and Argo CD, I recommend to check out two ebooks brought to you by Red Hat Developers Team. The first one is Getting GitOps, which dives into the details of all the tools you would ever need to practice GitOps. And the latest and the greatest one is Path to GitOps, which explains the foundational principles of GitOps and its best practices and much more. I hope you will enjoy reading these ebooks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.